Hey guys, Tony the Story says as says, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Now, ignore that white spot right here. This is where my new humidor is gonna be, but uh, it's not here yet. So I just I just kind of cleaned out the place, but that's where the humidor is gonna be. Ignore. All right. So today we're doing another cigar review, and this time is the Cohiba Series M. Reserva Roja. There we go. So let's take a really quick good look of this cigar. Cohiba Series M Reserva Roja, six and a half by fifty-four. Uh, it is produced literally this month, and this time they decided to use a Nicaraguan Corojo wrapper and Nicaraguan Corojo binder, and the filler uses uh, Dominican and Nicaraguan. Okay, MSRP is $29.99. It's close foot with a pig fan tail, just like it's similar to uh, the Cohiba Bahike kind of look, but it's not. It's not. Leaf relatively um, smooth, looks like a solid chocolate bar ish thing, so it's time to smoke it. So even though this thing is $29.99, I bought it from my local shop for almost $50. Almost $50. Just to do this review. So ridiculous. How can this be? I don't know. So, this better be good. No smell. Okay, a little bit of cedar. A little bit of cedar of smell. Close foot, so there's no point to uh, test the draw, really. Cut it. Literally, that fan just came off when I had to wet the cap. Stupid. Hmm? Yeah. I cut it and the cigar decided to crack. It's a really thin, 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 thin wrapper. So what does that mean? I guess time to glue it up and wait a couple minutes. Be right back. Okay, so now that it leaks a little bit, I took a <clears throat> cold draw. It's like um like apple cedar. <laughs> apple cedar taste. Yeah, it's weird. A little bit sweet, too. All right, that's relatively dry. We can get started to smoking. Let's light it up. Always gonna have a glue. Okay. Okay, it's hay, it's cedar. Pepper. 
Some big spice. A little bit of leather. Mmm. It's a really mid-tone note. There's no dark note right now. I'll say the strength roughly medium. Yeah, the pepper is it's really there. All right, since I'm not getting anything different right now, let me smoke one third, and I'll be right back. Okay, so first third, cigar is kind of boring, I would say. Um, just hay and pepper, and a little bit of subtle sweetness, very minor of sweetness in here. They call this cigar Magnum size. And I honestly think the, the previous version tastes better because this is like very one dimension right now. I think there is some sort of sweetness. Almost fruity sweetness. Like I, in the beginning, I kind of taste like I thought it was apple, but it wasn't just fruity-ish sweetness. And and that's pretty much all I get out of it. Hay, pepper, leather, some sort of sweetness. It's kind of one dimension. For that price, really. Yeah, and I think the majority of the issue is because it's made in USA. It was made in the... Uh, what's that then? Our Titan. Uh, I'll tighten the bronze factory. Um, so, you know, US factory, or well, technically that's not a factory, it's a very small place. But, uh, you know, if you roll in US, it's gonna cost money. It's gonna cost money. All right, so get into the second third. Hopefully, this thing gets better. I mean, it's kind of getting boring to me uh, for this price. So, I'll be right back. Second third, uh, sweet hay, pepper, some baking spice. That's pretty much it. This cigar is kind of boring for me. I, I don't know why. Other than using so much Corojo in there. I, I don't know why this cigar is MSRP at 30 bucks. Other than making USA. It's kind of boring. Kind of bland. Yeah. Anyways, let me show you guys the first band. This time is slightly different. This one says Reserva Roja 2024. Got a little bit of like a laser uh, effects on there. Looks like a firework, maybe. Looks like the same as the box kind of thing. So, but we had the first band. Let's take the second band too. Uh, if you come off cleanly, please. There we go. Now, you guys smoke enough cigar, which you know that Roham is red, but it's not really red. It's like a maroon, it's like a brown, however you want to call that. Again, laser silver effects on there. And it's a Series M, obviously made in Miami. A limited, it's 2,500 boxes produced. So. Yeah, it's not a very exciting cigar. I'm, I'm sorry, it's just just the way it is. So I don't know. Well, that's all we have right now. So last third, be right back. So last third, um, I want to say the last third, the flavor is better than the first two third. It it it, it kind of went up a little bit. It added a little bit, just a tad of saltiness, kind of drive the flavor up just a little bit, but it's not enough to say, oh, this is amazing cigar, thirty dollar cigar. Uh, I, I don't think it's a thirty dollar cigar, really. I, I can't give a thirty cigar, a thirty dollar mark on this one. Um, yeah, I think it's, this is somewhere between a twelve to fourteen dollar cigar for me. Twelve to fourteen at best. Um, and I think I remember the band for the green one has texture on top. This one doesn't even have that, so they kind of. Went down on the quality on everything, the design and stuff. I don't know. I I I, I bought this because Eric really liked Cohibas, and 
I saw one and I, I decided to buy one to try it to see if uh, I, you know, they, they, uh, if there's a chance to go, hey, you know, Eric, this is really, really good. You got to go get it. But I end up telling him, it's like, yeah, it's not worth the box. I, I, I literally told him that. It's, it's one dimensional. It's one dimensional. Right when you put the like the the wrapper the binder to be the same type of leaf, they kind of have the same flavor. And I think that what they're doing is try to ramp up that flavor, and and, and give a little bit more. But that that didn't do it. That did not do it. It just makes it. It still tastes watered down. I don't know. I have almost the same feeling about this cigar as the previous version, but the opposite because the other one I think the first two third has more flavor than the last third, and this one has. Uh, this one's last third has more flavor than the previous two third. I think they tried to correct something, but didn't 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 fix it. Didn't fix it. M some people might like it. Some people like you know that is the price for the Cohiba. You know that 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 sounds cheap. It's around twenty nine ninety nine, whatever. But for me, that that did not give me the experience to say, hey, I really like this cigar. For me, it was like, when does this cigar be done? You know, so I can finish this review and smoke something else. So yeah, that that wasn't at the range of like, oh, amazing cigars, at least twenty dollars. That didn't get there. You know, that didn't get there. So, but if you want to try it just to guys comparison, I say, you know, go find something cheaper uh, to buy. Don't, go find somewhere, maybe online or something like that to buy. Because for me, I bought in the stores, almost $50. It's ridiculous amount to to get a cigar like this, right? Uh, obviously, for review reason, I bought it. But in, in any, any, any other reason, like, uh, do you want to smoke something today? You, know, you bought just $40. I wouldn't have bought this. I wouldn't have bought this, all right? So... Yeah, keep keep that in mind before you buy this one. Um, I think there are some other cigars below you know, that price range. I mean, for that price, you can buy two or three cigars, and probably more more enjoyable uh, than this cigar. And you're only buying this cigar because it's made in USA. It's Cohiba, and, you know, USA cigar. So you know, gotta keep that in mind. It's not a Cuban. It's not worth that much in my mind. In my mind, you might you might feel like this this would for me. You, you, you didn't, right? Okay, all right. So that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and make sure to uh, check out our swag. Make sure to check out our membership. Make sure to definitely check out our podcast. Uh, and I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.